Same message. Steven, what do you like about closing the game with Ennis next to you, and what kind of advantage does that give you guys? Um, it's, it's, it's obviously good. It's a change up. It never happened. And it's good because he's my friend. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> so, like, no, it's, like, it's just good, though, because it gives him uh, good experience and he gets used to those situations, which is it's, it's definitely crucial because if you're, if you're not used to those situations, those pressure moments, you kind of mind drifts off, you make um, certain mistakes, but I feel like he's. Uh, embrace the challenge and uh, yeah, he's done really, really well in it. When you guys get in there together in that moment specifically, do you go in realizing that you have a height advantage, you can beat them up inside a little bit? Yeah, we, we always talk about it, like uh, different rebounding positions. Um, we do as we always try and read each other on the rebounds, uh, taking certain players out so the other guy can get an advantage, stuff like that. Maybe we put our little strategies. Uh, but yeah, mainly just going there. Are you surprised how well you've defended in the fourth quarter the last two games? Hold on, bud. Go ahead. What accounts for how well you've defended as a team? What accounts? Well, yeah, well, what, what is it that's generated how well you've defended in the fourth quarter the last two games? What is it? Um, yeah. Again, like, they're missing shots that we, like, we have like, game one, and they're just missing shots. I feel like they were getting out there and contesting them a bit better, but yeah, they're missing a lot of shots, man. I think they're comes down to our physicality, our energy, uh, fatigue kicking in, all that. Because we're running with a great pace, um, hitting all the cutters and stuff, so that probably obviously plays into like, getting back in the shots and this game. So. Do you feel like playing every other day is 